Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe, host of Answers Unleashed talk show. Can you remove fear? And if so, what do you replace it with? Well, the answer to that question is yes, you can remove fear, but what you replace it with is not necessarily probably what was first that came to your mind. Have you ever had a really bad friend in your life? The type of friend that would give you really bad advice and once you follow that advice, uh, your life went horrible and it wasn't until you got rid of that really negative friend did everything start moving freely and you didn't second guess your your friendships. Have you ever experienced that? I think every single one of us has experienced that in high school, junior high school, college. But what if I told you that you experienced that the first time you had a very negative experience, but your friend couldn't be seen? That's what fear is. Fear is an entity on the outside of you that pretends to be your friend and it gives you thoughts that you think are your own and they're not. What fear's job is to do is it is to tap you on the shoulder during those rough situations and whisper in your ear or give you a thought and that thought is not yours. But if you're not aware that it's not yours, you'll take that thought into you and you think it's yours. And then as a result, that thought starts converting energy in your body and it starts creating like a snowball effect of even more toxic thoughts, anger, shame, resentment, uh, not feeling worthy. All those things start building up in you and it's a snowball effect and before you know it, that really bad incident what happened at three or four turns into a horrific type of thinking at the age 40 and 50 and 60 and 20 and 30, you name it. But it's even more sophisticated than that. Fear's job is to make you think those thoughts and beliefs that will tear you apart in the inside out. So you take your own thoughts and you misalign yourself, not only from the inside of you, but on the outside of you too. And you miss the beautiful moment as well as the beautiful future that you have right in front of you because of your own toxic thoughts. Hmm. Isn't that deep? I know it was deep when it came to me too. I was like, oh my God. So what do you do? How do you, how do you understand how to get rid of this fear? All right. Any, any time, any time that you start experiencing anger, a pain, resentment, bitterness, ah, oh, just that, you know, the part of you that will go crazy and feel anxiety. Anytime something is a, you think something's about to happen. All right, that is the onset when fear is tapping you on your shoulder. I know. But this is the beautiful part. You have a choice. At that moment in time, you can choose to believe the same thought that you've had for so many years. That same belief that would turn your stomach upside down, make you anxiety filled make you second guess yourself, mistrust your own judgment, mistrust other people. Or you can, and here's, here's the catch, ask for the mind of God. I know, what? What did she just ask? And especially this, who is this woman telling me this? I thought this woman was a scientist. I know, <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Ask for the mind of God. All right, let me break this down to you. When you were born, you were given a gift, even before you were born, but let's, let's just start the mark at when you were born. When you were born, you were given a gift. It was called life. It is the ability to renew yourself. You renew your mind, you renew your DNA, you renew your body. That's what you call growth. Every single one of us has this ability to grow. It is the gift of life. But more importantly, we each have been given the ability to think and our beliefs turn on growth or they turn it off. 
Now, if you ask for the mind of God in the middle of a tough situation, you literally close your eyes and you ask or you decide, not even ask, you decide to be open to God. And you ask at that moment in time, God, give me your mind. Something amazing happens. You have just given yourself permission to believe something new, to take on a thought that you may have never known that exists, but will answer the situation in that moment in time. So when fear is tapping at your shoulder, you don't have to follow that type of same old thinking that has created all such turmoil in your system. At that moment in time, when you ask for God's mind, something really amazing happens. And I write this, I write about this in my book, Answers Unleashed. When you ask for the mind of God, your brain lights up, literally. And there's so many different research and studies that's done about what happens when people pray, how their brain, brain literally lights up, lights up. When you ask for the mind of God, you enlighten your mind. And as a result, you have neuron firing connections, not only in your mind, but it goes throughout your nervous system. And whenever you decide to have the mind of God simultaneously, you will be given a new way of thinking that you wouldn't have known necessarily on your own, but you're introduced to a new thought. And that new thought is carried throughout your entire body, entire system, entire field around you through an energy force that I share about in my live talk. Life is like a TED-like talk. It was called Answers Unleashed Live, held at California State University, Northridge, where I talk about the energy flows through you and flows through a field on the outside of you where you literally light up. Where do you think the term enlightenment comes from? People in the 1400s and 1500s, it came from someplace. It's the idea of being enlightened. When you ask for for the mind of God, you literally light yourself up and anything that does not follow grace and truth and, and love and the ability to grow is dark. Anything that is dark hides from the light. So when fear taps you on your shoulder and you decide at that moment in time and request for the mind of God, that enlightenment literally throws that fear called a so-called friend from your environment. It literally backs away. It's like, remember when you were young, you had a really bad friend and you realized that friend wasn't honest and truthful with you and you told that friend, leave me alone. I don't want to have anything to do with you again. That's what happens when you ask for the mind of God. You tell that fear so-called friend, get away from me. You don't deserve to be in my presence anymore. Now, let me tell you what else happens. When you decide to request the mind of God, you get answers and there's ways and everyone's everyone's particular life is unique everyone will receive some sort of answer for their own life and that answer sometimes isn't logical but it works and it is applied and you heal your mind you heal your body you heal your soul by your thoughts neuroscientists are seeing that your thoughts are literally changing your brain so why not choose a thought that's new that will be for growth instead of for fear? Now, when you choose this thought, you not only heal yourself, but you heal every single person looking at you because guess what? You have the light that extends through time and space that touches other people. 
For more tips like this, visit AnswersUnleashed.com. I am your host, Olympia LaPointe, always giving you messages. And remember this Sunday, I'm going to leave you with a prayer. And this prayer will be short and sweet. And if you will just close your eyes with me, you'll, you'll receive it too. God, I just ask that you watch over every single person that's watching this video. And in the moment of fear for myself and everyone who's watching this video, remind us that we have a choice. And in that choice, remind us that you are there and give us the strength to ask for your mind so we can see things and believe things in new ways to give us power to change this life and change the lives of people who are watching us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Visit AnswersUnleashed.com. Check out our book, podcast, and TV show. And let the power of knowledge enlighten you. I'll see you next time.